Good afternoon and welcome to a little lunchtime Tai Chi. So today we're going to do um, a little warm up and then we're going to do a soon, about 10 minutes worth of soon yoga, a soon, the soon short form. And we're going to do um, a pattern today where we get, we're going to do left and right. Okay, so we're going to do to the right and then to the left, to the right and then to the left a few times. So it'll be a little different pattern um, than what we have done in the previous lessons, but it's the same moves. We're just gonna do them backwards at one point. <laughs> so, and then we're gonna take a few moments at the end, about 15 minutes or so, to start on the yang short form. And the yang short form is a little bit trickier to learn, I think, in this format because it turns around. So I'll do my best to sort of show you the individual moves. Um, as best I can given these circumstances. Um, and hopefully it'll, whatever happens, it'll be fine. <laughs> You're still practicing Tai Chi, even if it's not exactly the way it would be at some other point. And so you'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So, <laughs> so you're gonna take one foot and put it on the floor so that the ball of your foot's on the floor, but your heel's in the air. And we're gonna spin just around the ball of the foot just, and make in a circle here. Oh. And then go the other direction with that circle. And then give that leg a little bit of a shake. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Up on the ball of the foot, heel in the air, making a little circle. Oh, that feels nice. And then go the other direction. Just a nice little movement pattern for the hip and the knee and the ankle. Oh. And then shake that guy out. And then give yourself a little bit of springiness around your knees. We're just gonna spin. Oh. Let your arms mostly just hang. And you can get kind of into it a little bit. <laughs> oh. And so we're just loosening up the ribs, the muscles that live between the ribs and the spine. And the ribs and the pelvis. Oh. All right, one more on each side. And then we're gonna do some little rounding and flexing of the back, some flexing. Oh, some arching. Oh flexion and extension, whatever words you want to use. <laughs> oh. 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 All right, so then we'll do some side bending. We're gonna do this through this little Qigong move. So we're gonna press down with one hand, up with one hand, you can side bend and then come on back. Down with one hand, up with one hand, then add a side bend. Oh. up and reach down simultaneously and then just oh let your spine go one way <laughs> to one side reach up and oh, over to the other side one more time on each side reach and bend oh. reach and bend oh. and then when you come back we're gonna roll the shoulders up around and back the other direction. Oh, that's good. All right. Hunch your shoulders and let them fall. Hunch them. Oh, let them fall. Hunch them. Oh, let them fall. One more. Hunch them. Oh, let them fall. All right. So we've loosened everything up. Now let's do a little kind of back and forth movement. So we're gonna do this kind of um, Qigong inspired movement called going with the flow. <laughs> so you're just gonna let your, like I've got my hips a little wide, I've got my feet a little wide, hips are where they are. Um, <laughs> knees are a little bit bent, but not too deep. And I'm just shifting the weight from one leg to the other and turning from the waist. And then I'm doing this figure eight with my arms. 
sort of imagining that my hands are about the distance apart of a beach ball, okay? So we'll start and just go from side to side. <laughs> oh. Trying to let your body just go with the flow. Let's do it three more times. That might have been three, but we're going to do one more. <laughs> I forgot to count. Oh, and then just pause in the center and see how you feel. Let's come to mountain pose, which in the world of Qigong might be called earth posture instead. It's really very similar. Feet are about hips distance apart, shoulders relaxed, standing tall. It's oh, nice. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're gonna start with the heaven posture to start in our soon form. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so I'll stay mostly in the frame. So the heels are together, the toes are a little bit on the wide side. So we make a V with the feet. And then just kind of noticing, zipping yourself up. And coming to your present moment awareness. So we're not thinking about other stuff, we're really staying right here with the breath and with the movement. We're gonna let ourselves sink. The arms are gonna come up. We're gonna step forward with that left foot, hand someone a ball. Right foot follows hips distance this time and then breathing, that's our Qigong breath. So that's opening the door, that's the last time we're gonna do that. So we're gonna push the hands forward, go into the right first for single whip. Change in the hands for waving hands like clouds now stepping out and in. Stepping out and in. Now I don't have a ton of space, so I'm gonna shorten my steps, right, to fit in my space. I got one more to go. Wherever I wind up is fine. Take a breath. Now I've gotta take my whole right side here, I'm gonna pivot, so I'm hugging a friend. Then I'm gonna step forward and brush my knee and push. Step in halfway with that right foot up onto your left hip toes strum your guitar. Step that left foot down and strike with the right hand, parry, parry, then we're gonna punch, right hand comes back, step the feet and the hands together, come back, pull a ball onto your knee, press that mountain away, and then we're returning where we came from, so we just turn back to center, I gave myself a big step there so I have a little bit of room, and a qigong breath, okay? Then the hands go forward, this time we're going out to the left, so we're gonna go left, and I might go off your frame, just keep going, okay? So waving hands like clouds three times, little step, step in. Little step, I'm gonna try to take tiny steps. Step in, <laughs> one more time, little step, step in. Now, this time I'm gonna do Qigong breath here, and then my left arm, left leg, is gonna do this pivot and hug my friend. Then I'm gonna brush my knee and push, half a step in. This is where your brain will get confused. <laughs> right arm is up, left arm is down. Step, strike, step, strike, step, pull your fist back, fist and feet comes together. Step back, pull back that ball, push your mountain, and then we're turning back to home. Taking a breath. <laughs> so we're gonna do it again. And this time, once again, to our more comfortable direction, perhaps to the right. All right, step it in. Waving hands like clouds. Taking tiny steps. <laughs> or if you get a bigger space, you could take bigger steps. This is not part of the Tai Chi, but you could do a move called Tickle Your Pet. <laughs> and then Qigong breath. And then hug your friend. Brush your knee and push. Step in, strum your guitar. And then we're gonna strike, strike, fist back, 
together. <laughs> Step back, bring that ball back. That was a big move because I'm trying to get myself back to the middle of my room here. I'm coming around, she gone breath. Mm. I don't have to worry about this stuff when I don't film myself. <laughs> Out to the side on the other way, right? Other direction. And then we're gonna wave hands like clouds. And initially this feels very difficult, but you guys, you'll get used to it. You'll get the hang of it, right? As you start to work in both directions, your brain will be like, oh, I get this. But not yet, maybe, <laughs> don't worry. All right, so here's my last cloud. So I'm gonna do a little Qigong breath. Mm. I'm gonna hug my friend over here with my left, brush my knee and push, half a step in, strum the guitar. And then we're gonna step down to strike, strike, fist back, everything together. Step back, pull that ball, push your mountain. Coming back around where we started, we're gonna do it one more time in each direction. <laughs> and the chalkboard is erased every time we get to that Qigong breath. Whatever happened, happened. <laughs> Stepping out, waving hands like clouds. Most importantly with Tai Chi is to just get the feel for it. Don't worry if the moves are right. And so with this one especially, just, just move your body in this general pace and general way. Qigong breath. Don't worry if it's exactly perfect. Brush knee and push. Strum your guitar. Strike. Strike. Fist back. Together. Stepping back. Ball on your knee. Push that away like a mountain. Coming around. Qigong breath. Chalkboard erased, baby. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. One more time to our left. And this might be a little tricky for you because maybe it's really the left <laughs> and the right, right? And maybe the mirror is not exactly perfect. That's all right. Mm. So we're doing one more little cloud here. Oh. I'm gonna come to the middle, take a breath. Mm. And then I'm gonna hug my friend, brush my knee and push, half a step in, strum your guitar, strike out, strike out, fist comes back, everything together. <laughs> step it back, pull that ball back, push the mountain away, coming back around to home, taking a breath. Mm. Whatever just happened, we did Tai Chi together. <laughs> so now we're going to close the door. So we're going to take the arms up. And when they get pretty close to all the way straight, we're going to bring them down. Leave a little bend in your elbow just so everything is soft. Okay. And then we're going to bring this right foot in and the left foot in. Heels back together. Back in our heaven posture. And then we're gonna bow to each other. Right fist for strength, left hand together, representing friendship and humility. And we come together having practiced. Mm. <laughs> and so pause for a moment and just see. See where it landed your mind, see where it landed your body. One of the things I love about Tai Chi is that while I'm doing it, especially when you're learning it, is you're not thinking about all the other problems that you normally think about. You're just right here trying to figure this out. And that is interesting, and it's a great place for your mind to be, right? Learning a new skill. And then even after you've learned it and it becomes a little bit easier for that part of it, you get to experience this kind of paying attention and remembering the moves and feeling your body move in this kind of rhythmic way. So it becomes a moving meditation, which is really what Tai Chi is about, okay? So as we learn this Yang short form opening piece, um, we're keeping that in mind. And I'm gonna show you the work from a couple of different perspectives um, so that you can kind of see it. Now this form, 
begins with the feet pointing forward and the earth posture a little close together, right? So that we're standing nice and tall. And then we're gonna lean to the right and step a little to the left so we get hips distance feet. Then we're gonna bring the arms up over a ball. Shifting the weight to the right, we're just gonna turn to our left and sweep that direction. Right foot's gonna turn with us. We're gonna come back. Now I'm gonna show you the move first and then we'll break it down. So it's called parting the horse's mane. Rock back pivot. Stepping with my right foot. Parting the horse's mane. Rock back pivot. Left foot. And then I'm gonna step in and do the white crane spreads its wings. Okay, and that's where we're gonna stop today because it's a great opening segment. So let's look at the couple of pieces of information. So first of all, this particular form pivots on the heel, okay? So what we're gonna do for most of our moves is we're gonna pick our toes up and pivot around on the heel, okay? Toes up, pivot on the heel. And then we'll take steps, but this turns us. So toes up, pivot, right? Toes up, pivot. And it's a nice efficient way to move and it doesn't create a lot of drag and the knees generally like it. <laughs> so it's a good, if you're wearing shoes or you're out of doors, um, it's a good move to start to kind of integrate, right? This kind of pivoting on the heel, it's a much easier pivot point. So the arms are gonna do three different things. So let's start with the first arm thing, which is our opening the door. So the first, you're kind of imagining that there's a giant like exercise ball, energy ball building up underneath your arms. And I don't know if you can see, I'll try to angle it so you can see, I'm trying to create as best I can kind of a roundness at my wrist. So like that ball is growing and I'm around the edges of it, right? I mean, my elbow is only gonna work so much to make that round. But here, I'm creating that sense of roundness. And then I'm gonna come over the back of the ball like that, okay? So the move takes us kind of through this arching movement. And the wrist action here is important, okay? One of the reasons Tai Chi is so good for arthritis is because of these fluid movements in the joints. We're gonna move the wrists, the ankles, the knees, the hips, every, the shoulder, <laughs> through these fluid movements, okay? So if you can kind of perfect that idea, you don't have to perfect it, but you get the idea. Just like feel yourself come up and over that ball. And we're going nice and slow so that we feel every nuance of that energy, every nuance of the body shifting shapes. And that's one of the things you can get more and more and more into as you don't need to remember the moves anymore, is feeling the muscle that activates to create those shapes in the wrist, right? You're gonna feel the top of your arm and the bottom of your arm doing different things and getting really kind of keen and curious about the movement and the fluidity and the, you know, the way the body is oh, so beautifully designed by nature, okay? So let's try again. I'm gonna scoot over this way a little bit so I've got a little bit more room. So let's try that opening the door movement again. So I start like oh, standing my ground and then I'm gonna just shift slightly wider through my feet, sink in. The arms are gonna make that ball shape. I'm keeping this bend in my knee, leaning my weight towards my right leg so I can pick up my left toes to pivot. And then I'm gonna shift my weight over and bring my right leg around. Now as I shift the weight back, I'm gonna do this with my arms. And this is the opening to our parting the horse's mane movement. So we'll break this down in just a second. Let's do it. So I'm gonna step my left foot out and do this movement. Come back, pivot on the heel. Right foot makes a sweeping motion forward. Part the horse's mane, come back. Left foot makes a sweeping motion. There's three of those, okay? And then I step in halfway, put all the weight in my right leg. It's gonna become important <laughs> later, not right now. So the movement in the legs, okay? So we've done this little step out, okay? We did a pivot, shift, pivot, 
shift. Now the movement is different and this is a sweeping step. So I'm picking my foot up and sweeping it through an arch. Sweeping through an arc. Sweeping through an arc. It doesn't have to be that big. I'm trying to help you see it on the screen. But the movement can be quite close to the ground. But it's still this kind of sweeping motion, right, with the leg. So sweep, sweep, sweep is what we're doing. Left, right, left, okay? So the pivots break that up. So let's do just the legs here, okay? So we've got our opening the door. We're not gonna do the arms. We're gonna shift. This is where my arms come up and down. Turn the left foot. Lean, turn the right foot, put all the weight back. Now I'm gonna sweep out my left leg. Lean into it. Come back, pivot on my toes. Sweep my right leg. Lean into it come back, pivot on my toes. So I just am getting this leg out of the way so that I can come through there with that sweeping motion. And this is the half step in on that third one, okay? So let's do that again. We're just gonna do all the leg work and then we'll add our arms in. Okay, so I step out, sink in, shift, pivot shift, pivot, shift. This is my sweep out, lean in, come back, pivot. Sweep through that space, lean in, come back, pivot. Sweep through that space, lean in, half a step in, all the weight stands in my right leg, okay? And you can pick up your left toes, but you don't have to. You can just leave the left foot there. Okay. So let's add the arms. So we've done our opening move and then I'm gonna show you the arms when we get to the parting the horse's mane. So I'm gonna shift out, let myself sink down, arms come over a ball, okay? As I'm turning, I'm just gonna push, right? So there's my push. It's almost like that brush knee and push, but not exactly. So then I step out, there's my parting horse's mane. So notice what happened, okay? I have a ball in my arms. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> my magical ball. There's an arm on the bottom, there's an arm on the top that are cupping. And then I'm gonna switch the position. This arm is like, if you can imagine like combing down a mane for a horse, right? So this hand's gonna comb that mane, this hand's going up. What I'm doing is two different blocks. I'm doing a block where if someone were coming at me with a strike, I could go up to protect myself. And if someone were coming at me with a leg, I could go down to brush their leg out of the way, okay? That's the move. We're doing it in a real poetic, pretty way. <laughs> so we're gonna take the arm, one arm goes up, that top arm goes down, okay? Then we cup it, so the stay in this orientation, top arm, bottom arm, hold the ball, okay? Then we're gonna step out, top arm goes up, bottom hand, goes down, <laughs> other way around. Bottom <laughs> arm goes up, top arm goes down. So we've got that parting the horse's mane, okay? Cup the ball. One more time, I'm gonna step out, arm switch position. Now in this case, I'm gonna leave it because my white crane is the next move. So let's do um, the parting the horse's mane through about three times. We'll just do them, do them, do them. And, and then we'll add our white crane back in there because that's a really pretty move. Okay, so I'm standing tall, fully present, a little shift, a little sink coming over that ball. Ooh, pivot your left foot, travel, pivot your right foot, bring it back. Now we're ready for parting the horse's mane. Sweep, arms, come back. Right leg, sweep, arms, come back, left leg sweep, arms, step in, pause right there, okay, let's do that again, all right, shift out, give yourself a nice wide base, <laughs> it's all about that base, <laughs> and then we're coming in, 
shifting back. Here we go. Whoop. Part that horse's mane. Oh, step out. Part that horse's mane, right? Get underneath there with this arm and then comb that hair. <laughs> step in. Put all the weight in that right leg. Cool. Let's do it one more time. Ooh. And then we'll show you the white crane from a couple of angles. Okay. So you're gonna sink in. Strap out, oh, I think I forgot to open my legs. <laughs> I'll get to that next time. <laughs> Step out, I got a little ahead of myself. All right, let's do this one. Step out. Oh. One more time, step out, part that horse's mane. Step in, shift the weight back, okay? Now this arm is up and this arm is down. So if you can imagine now that you've got two wings and there's all these wing feathers, this will help you kind of move your arms. So this arm is gonna come down like this, okay? And this arm is gonna go up like this. So we're gonna imagine those feathers having room to express themselves, <laughs> okay? We're gonna turn the palm to face behind us when we get to the very tippy top of that. So let me show it to you this way. All the weights in the right leg. This arm's up, this arm's down. Turn, change that position, but you're changing the position so that you have that room for those imaginary feathers, okay? So we've got parting the horse's mane, shifting that position, okay? That's our white crane and it's really, I think it, you make make it very elegant. It's a quite, it's a really pretty move. All right, so we've got a couple minutes. So let's put that together, and we'll do it through three times, and then hopefully you'll be able to go eat your lunch. <laughs> so here we are. Oh, I'm gonna step out. So I've got a nice wide base. Come over my ball. Push myself. Come on back. Step out to part the horse's mane. Come back, okay? Step out, part the horse's mane. Let that back foot come with you. Come on back. Step out to part the horse's mane. Half a step in. Shift your weight back and then turn. So you get that weight in that last leg, back leg, right leg, before you get to here, okay? Nice, let's do it again. <laughs> Give yourself some room. Sink in. So you're gonna keep the knees a little bit bent the whole time. Right on. Stepping out to part the horse's mane. Stepping out to part the horse's mane. One more time. And then we're half a step in. All the weight shifts back. Now become a beautiful, elegant crane. Spreading out your wings. <laughs> All right, last one. One of the things I love about Tai Chi is all the nature imagery. It's really quite lovely. Even though really what we're doing is fighting <laughs> in slow motion. I like the nature imagery. <laughs> oh, all right, here we are. Ooh, give ourselves some room. Okay. Coming around. So now I'm prepped for my parting the horse's mane. Okay. Prepped for my parting the horse's mane. One more time, half a step in. Put all that weight in that back leg, then move. White crane spreads its wings. Come all the way back around. We're not in a hurry. Turn that palm. <laughs> you can do your arms a little closer in. I like to get big with my wings. <laughs> so let's do a couple of really quick little just, oh, a little side stretch here. And we'll do a nice wide angle forward bend just to, oh, relax the back and the glutes and the hips and the hamstrings. <laughs> I like to get in here and then get a little wobbly with it. 
Now your hamstrings might be tight enough that you can't touch the floor. Just touch your shins. It'll work okay. Or your thighs. Whatever you can reach. Oh. Ooh. Oh. So we're going to bow to each other. Now we'll progressively work on the yang short form in subsequent lessons. But for now, <laughs> bringing my right fist representing my own strength and my left hand in friendship with my little thumb tucked in because you gotta be humble peeps. <laughs> and so I'm extending my friendship, my humility, and my strength to you. And for the yogis, namaste. <laughs> Thanks for joining me.